Your unnatural hair color violates our dress code. Fix it. Let me start off by saying that this did not happen to me, but rather to a cousin of mine who is 18 and a senior in high school. She told me the story and gave me permission to share it. So, my cousin has a natural patch of white hair at the front of her otherwise dark head of hair. She's had this all her life and it's gotten bigger as she's gotten older. She used to get teased a lot for it at school. Until bleaching slash dyeing the hair at the front of your head a different color than the rest of your hair became a trend, and now she blends right in with other girls her age. I believe that this is the e-girl look. If you google it, you'll see which hairstyle I'm referring to. My cousin's hair looks similar to this, only she doesn't have to dye her hair to get the light streak. The school she currently attends has a very strict dress code that includes no hair that is dyed unnatural colors and extreme hairstyles, and frowns heavily on dyed hair in general. When in-person classes resumed at her school, one of my cousin's teachers took one look at her hair and sent her to the principal's office, insisting my cousin's unnatural. Extreme hair was in violation of the dress code and too distracting, despite the fact that she's never dyed slash bleached any part of her hair in her life. My cousin insisted that this is the way her hair has always grown, but the principal was having none of it. She told my cousin when you come back tomorrow, I expect you to have dyed your hair back to its natural color, and don't dye it again. As long as you are at our school, you are to adhere to the dress code. My cousin smugly replied with of course, I will comply with the dress code from now on. My cousin got some hair dye that was as close of a match to the hair on the rest of her head as possible. In order for it to blend in, she ended up dyeing all of her hair not just the white streak. The next day when she walked in, the teacher complimented her on her natural hair and told her never to dye her hair again. Q malicious compliance. As with anyone who dyes their hair, the roots eventually need to be touched up as the hair grows. But my cousin didn't bother with doing that. At first nobody. At least none of the teachers slash staff. Batted an eyelid. It wasn't until her hair had grown maybe an inch or so that her teacher suddenly looked at her and barked what did we tell you about your hair? No unnatural colors or extreme hairstyles. We told you to dye it back to its natural color and not dye it again. Go to the principal's office. My cousin did as she was told. The principal asked her why her hair looked the way it did. My cousin replied with well, you told me to dye my hair back to its natural color and to never dye it again. So, I did just that. I dyed my hair the color of the hair on most of my head to get rid of the white streak, which, by the way, is how my hair naturally grows, and didn't dye it again, so now the roots are showing. I did exactly what you told me to do. The principal called her parents and told them to come pick their daughter up, explaining that due to her multiple violations of the school's dress code, she would be suspended. So, they came to the school and brought the family photo album with them, which had pictures of my cousin at various stages of her life, all with the white patch in her hair. In addition, her father also has a white patch of hair on the front of his otherwise dark head of hair. It runs on his side of his family, I believe the medical term for it is poliosis. So, the principal reluctantly didn't end up suspending my cousin, but she did give her a warning that your extreme hair is still a distraction to the other students, and they are going to wonder why you're getting special treatment. Consider yourself lucky. So, my cousin wasn't suspended and didn't get any more harassment from the school staff. Gradually her hair returned to its natural extreme color. She still continues to occasionally get disapproving looks from the school staff, but none of her classmates feel like she's getting special treatment, and think it's cool that her hair naturally grows that way. My cousin says that she will not be returning to that school next semester and will be homeschooled instead. Edit 1. Wow. I did not expect this post to blow up the way it did. Thank you all for the awards and upvotes. I would like to clarify some stuff people were asking about. Yes, my cousin and I are both American, but from different states. The school my cousin attended was indeed a private Christian school. She told me that their dress code was very strict, 
but for some things they were stricter with girls about, and for other things they were stricter with boys. Girls could grow their hair as long as they wanted to provided it was clean, well kept, and not styled in an extreme way. Boys were required to have theirs be short enough to not touch the back of their collar or their eyebrow, and must style it in a conservative way. Hair on both boys and girl must be its natural color and not dyed. Boys also were required to shave their faces daily, even if they only had peach fuzz. Girls were allowed to wear earrings provided they weren't too large, or distracting. Boys weren't allowed to wear any jewelry at all. There of course was the usual skirts must be a certain length, no spaghetti straps etc. Hats, hoods, sunglasses, and jackets were only to be worn outdoors. Students' clothes were not to have any logos or images on them with the exception of the school emblem, and they were not allowed to wear anything that was considered faddish. She told me about this one guy who wore the type of glasses that get darker when you go outside, and his teacher mistook them for sunglasses and made him take them off. Since they were prescription lenses, he was unable to see everything clearly unless he wore the glasses. His parents complained but the school insisted that the glasses took too long to return to their clear state and would be too distracting, both for him and the other students. So, his parents were forced to buy him two new pairs of prescription glasses, a pair of regular glasses and a pair of sunglasses. I think some of these rules were relaxed a bit for the Zoom sessions, but once in-person classes resumed they started cracking down on students who were violating the dress code. A lot of you have given great suggestions as to what my cousin's family should do. They have made their intentions quite clear that they do not wish to pursue any legal action against the school. Like I've already said, my cousin has decided to finish the remaining months of her senior year being homeschooled. This was her decision. She wants to concentrate on her finals and preparing for college without any distractions. I'd like to clear up a few more things that people have been asking about. The first one is that, no, the girl in the picture I posted is not my cousin. For privacy purposes my cousin doesn't want me to share any photos of her. But I wanted to show you all the hairstyle fad that the school insisted my cousin was following even though, up until they asked her to, she had never dyed her hair. So, I went on Google Images to try and find some examples of how my cousin wears her hair, and how it could potentially be mistaken for money pieces, the rogue look, or whatever you want to call it. My cousin's hair is all natural, and it just so happens that she currently blends in with a lot of girls in her age group, which is cool because when she was younger, she used to get teased for having old lady hair because it's so white in the front. That being said, now that she's free from that school, for the first time ever, other than when the school forced her, my cousin decided to try an experiment and dye the hair on the front of her head a very unnatural color, blue. It looked pretty cool but the dye didn't hold very well so it quickly faded back to white. Also, a few people had been asking why the school only began giving her a hard time this year when she's 18 and a senior. As I mentioned in the comments, my cousin began attending that school for her junior year in fall 2020. Prior to that she attended a different school in another city that was a little more lenient on their dress code, at least in terms of hair colors, i.e. You were allowed to dye your hair natural colors like blonde, brunette, etc. She switched schools when she moved with her parents to where they currently live. This was during the height of the pandemic and all of the classes were virtual. Her parents were aware that the school had a strict dress code, but since the classes were virtual, a lot of the rules were relaxed, and it was only when in-person classes resumed last fall that they began giving her a hard time about her hair. 